You know, I really thought we were past this, but I still got an oil pulling question the other day. Hi, my name is Dr. Charlie Cage. I'm a dentist and welcome to my channel where I talk about everything dentistry. Today, we'll be talking about oil pulling. Does it really work? Well, the answer is yes and no. So I decided to do a little bit more research on oil pulling. And what I found is that you can either do it two ways. You can either swish or you can hold it. For swishing, they recommend that you actually swish for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then for holding, it's about 10 to 15. I've asked my patients to rinse with mouth rinse for one minute. It's a struggle. Timing yourself for that long? Well, if you can do that. One of the main ingredients is actually cloves. And cloves contain eugenol. It's a type of oil that we actually use quite a bit in dentistry. It is very good with helping the oral cavity heal. So this is one of the areas where I say yes. Another fact that they mention is that oil pulling helps to have a better overall health of your whole body. There is truth in that statement. But thinking it's because it's oil pulling is actually not the right answer. Having an overall healthy mouth will actually allow your body to be healthier. There's quite a bit of scientific support that shows having a healthy mouth can lead to having a poor overall health in your body. So keep your mouth clean, you help keep your body clean. They mentioned that it can also help receding gums. Once you've you lost your gums, there's really no way for it to grow back. Now where I see some truth in that statement is the area where if you have very inflamed puffy gums, by swishing your mouth and actually getting some of the bacteria out, you can actually cause your gums to shrink. But it actually doesn't cause your gums to grow. They also mention that it can reverse decay. And quite honestly, there's absolutely no ingredients in oil pulling that will cause decay to revert. If that were the case, I'd be out of a job. They also mentioned using turmeric gel. And funny enough, one of the pictures that they showed in the video showed half of the mouth looking not so happy and the other half with having a whiter, happier smile. And the funny thing is turmeric is staining. And if you use a lot of turmeric, you can actually have more yellow teeth. It also recommends that you don't eat or drink anything 30 minutes before and after oil pulling. It also states that it helps to prevent gum and tooth infection. And quite honestly, the only way to really revert that from happening, if it's already started, is to take care of the cause. So if it's a tooth infection, you need to either have a root canal or have the tooth pulled. And if it's a gum infection, we need to get in there and clean things out. So there are a lot of incorrect facts when it comes to oil pulling. And here is where I say <laughs> there's some truth to it. Okay. Oil pulling will help cleanse your mouth. You are switching for about 15 to 20 minutes. That will clean your mouth. Quite honestly, if you switch with water, it will clean out your mouth if you're rinsing for that long. But here's the thing, and the part that I don't understand the most. Dentists recommend that you brush twice a day for two minutes. Brush, floss. That's it. Spend a lot less time in front of the bathroom sink do the instructions that we actually provide as professionals and you will see an improvement in your mouth. If it's been a while since you've seen the dentist, go for a checkup. We not only look for cavities, we look for any issues with your gums, see if you're wearing down your teeth, see if it's changing your skeletal structure, and we also look for any other signs of disease or pathology. Even if you go to your medical doctor, this is an area that's usually overlooked. We will do a proper scan of your mouth to determine if you are at any risk for oral cancer. And to my patient who asked about oil pulling, I applaud you for having the courage to ask about one of the misinformation that's spread on the internet. So again, brush twice a day, most importantly, before you go to bed and floss. If you have any questions, please leave them below, leave me a like, and until the next one.